Hello there. Here I am testing the third iteration of my wooden armor. This shot was a miss. The armor struck a board. It penetrated the board a quarter of an inch. It did not cut any strings in the process. It simply pushed them out of the way. Unlike in previous tests, the board was not split by the arrow. It was simply punctured. This level of penetration is not enough to seriously wound me. It might not even get through my clothing. Here the arrow struck a gap. It penetrated only one inch, however. A cord was cut, but this did not compromise the armor in any way. It should also be mentioned that I'm using my steel arrow for these beginning tests. Here the arrow lodged in the board without penetrating. The board received neck to no damage. No cords were cut. Here the arrow struck a board. It penetrated the board half an inch and split it partially, but not completely. This is an improvement over the previous iterations. Now I switch to an antler-tipped arrow. The antler-tipped arrow penetrated the wood by about a half inch. It also partially split the board. This arrow missed the relevant section of the armor, so I make no observation here. This arrow struck a gap, but only penetrated one inch. The new method of lacing is proving its worth. This arrow struck a gap, but only penetrated a quarter of an inch. I'm very happy with this. I'm only leaving these misses in out of spite. In frustration, I give up on the bow and move on to my knives. My knife strikes a gap here, but only penetrates a half inch. I managed to partially split a board here. The knife penetrated about half an inch. I strike a gap here, and it penetrates about two inches. Switching over to my bronze dagger. Strikes a gap and penetrates about an inch. Strikes a gap, but only penetrates about a quarter of an inch. Strikes a gap and penetrates about two inches. The sword penetrated about one inch here, and the board was partially split. When I give the thumbs up, 
That means that the armor succeeded in preventing penetration. Now for the spear. Oh boy. The spear penetrated the board by about two inches. Interestingly, it didn't split the board, it cut it, striking perpendicular to the grain. Very strange. This thrust was above the relevant area, so no observation. Here the spear struck a gap, but only penetrated a little over an inch. I also bent the spear, oddly enough. Here the spear strikes the center of a board. It penetrates a little over two inches. And again, it cuts the board in half. Weird. Here the spear strikes the board. It only penetrates about an inch, though. Now to test some cuts. Knife first. Interestingly, very few of these knife slashes succeeded in cutting some of the cords. The armor was once again proof against even a very large knife. The armor also seems to be proof against swords. I'm happy. Now for the armor destroyer, the tomahawk. The axe fractured the board it struck, however it did not break it. Interesting. Again, fractured, but not broken, not penetrated. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I win, Axe. I win. One last test against some vertical swings. Even when striking a gap, the armor prevails. <laughs>